Ladies and gentlemen, Matthews here from m and Forex Traders. Let me show you how we got to this stage right here. So for that and more, watch the rest of the video. All right, so let me show you what we had right now on NZD USD and how we lost this particular trade. A beautiful trade, but it actually turned out to be a negative one, right? So as always, always start from the higher time frame, like we always do. So you go to the four hour time frame and from here, you can clearly see that the market has been going to the downside for quite a while. You can clearly see that the market has been making lower lows and lower highs, right? So if you zoom in right here on the four hour time frame, I saw something interesting here. Wanting to continue with the direction of the overall trend, I came to this level right here. I saw a nice rally base drop after the QML low, high, high, and break of structure. You can see beautiful momentum candles breaking structure to the downside, making lower lows, right? Very, very important. And then what you do is that you can go to the two hour time frame. What I did is that I went to the all the way to the lower time frame to find my order block. So let's check on the 30 minutes time frame. Let's see if we can find our order block right here. We actually found our order block, which is right here. Okay, we found this last candle right here, which we got as our order block. Therefore, we waited for the market to come to this level. So what happened here is that the market actually came to this level first. It retested and then it dropped. Okay, so after that drop, I was looking for a what? For a re-entry, the re-entry mode that we use at MNF Mastery Community, you guys know this is the uh, perfect entry mode, re-entry uh, kind of mode that we use right here. Once the market touches this level, it drops, breaks structure, and then when the market comes back to this level again, it's actually a re-entry. We're supposed to enter whenever the market presents an opportunity. What we have to wait for is wait for our entry signal. So if you check on the 15 minutes time frame. We had a beautiful rejection right here. So if you check in our signals community, which was actually sent, you can see that we had a nice rejection of that candle right here. The candle closed and I was like, okay, this is our opportunity to actually enter. So our stop loss was 12 pips and our target was 140 pips. However, you saw what happened. The market ended up going against us, took us out right here and then market NFP came and the market pushed all the way to the upside and we were taken out from right here. All right, this was a potential 1 to 12 risk reward ratio, 4 pips stop loss in 140 pips. However, this didn't actually turn out to be a good trade. So you can see that also another complex that I followed here was that the market that took taken out the uh the asian session right here so once the market does this i was waiting for the market to come to this level potentially respond from this level and then see the market drop but remember like always is the market is always random and then we cannot uh predict with 100 percent certainty that this is what's going to happen our job you and i is to be able to follow our strategy every time right as long as you've proven that your strategy works you have to be able to execute that strategy flawlessly because you've back tested and you have the confidence in the strategy a beautiful beautiful setup however this time around this trade didn't work out and we ended up losing about what we ended up losing about 1153 us dollars on this particular trade alone which was uh okay because it was actually part of our parameter we had predefined the risk of this particular trade and then we lost right which is part of the game so you have to be honest with yourself and if the trade has failed say yourself okay this trade has actually not gone according to my direction therefore i do what i have to accept and move on and that's how it is unfortunately most people won't show you this because they are scared of showing you this but i guess we are trying to show you at how transparent the market can be the market can do anything at any particular time doesn't matter whether you are who or you are who right so make sure that you actually continue to follow your strategy and keep on executing and then we actually are looking for another setup right here however this actually uh didn't go in our direct i mean it left us actually so you can see that the gbp uh gbp card trade was actually forecasted right here and we're waiting for the market to actually come to this level so that we can actually buy and uh, go all the way to our take profit that however this is what ended up happening and we were literally literally left behind on this beautiful it would have been an amazing trade if the market kept to this level level right here you can see the same 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 principle we're looking at this this is a, a nice uh uh bullish uh bullish trend right here so i was looking to continue with the trend and what i did was that 
I came to this level right here. Uh, nice drop base ready, then nice liquidity right here. So I wanted for the market to actually push into this level right here, and then I'll go to the upside. However, I can see that the market didn't quite come to our level, and guess what? The market left with a beautiful about time and pips push to the upside about one series the pips uh to the upside and that have been a beautiful beautiful trade i mean it's part of the game and as long as you predefine the risk it's always important that you will be able to actually uh predefine the risk and accept the risk in advance and then keep on executing your trades however that's how it is guys so i really hope that you actually find some value in this video i know most people won't show you this trust me very few people are going to show you the losses like we do so make sure that you actually uh, keep on su supporting us subscribe like the videos and everything and i'm going to show you the screenshot right here on the screen yeah so this is our proof of taking this trade and uh, this was the proof that we actually shared this trade in our sequence community however this trade turned out to be a loss all right so that's how it is you guys i hope you found value until next time goodbye